In this video, I'll give you a complete breakdown of Soho versus HubSpot. We'll discuss what services they offer, their price ranges, target audience, and more. By the end of this review, you will have a better understanding of which platform is better suited for your business. Let's get into it. Both Soho and HubSpot offer similar features with their CRM, but some features are only available with Zoho. For example, Zoho has a more enhanced automation system. It also lets you create personalized customer journeys. If you run a small business with no more than three people, you can sign up for a free Zoho plan. It has all of the essential features any robust CRM platform should have, like contact, deal, and account management. At the time of this video, Soho offers four pricing plans for larger businesses, ranging from $12 up to $45 per month per user. HubSpot offers four separate programs you can sign up for depending on your needs. Marketing Hub, Sales Hub, Service Hub, and CMS Hub. There's a free CRM software available with all basic features, which is more than enough to get you started. HubSpot offers yearly contracts on each of its programs. The price range varies from $45 up to $180 per user per month. There's also a bundle option offering all programs starting from $50 up to $3,200 per month. To use HubSpot's free CRM, you're not required to buy any of their paid products. There's no hidden charges with this one. If you're just starting to use Zoho, you should dedicate some extra time to the initial customization. After you get that part done, things will progress much smoother. You'll see a dashboard with tabs like Home, Feeds, Leads, Accounts, and Contacts, and you'll be ready to go. HubSpot now has a straightforward and well-designed layout. Even though they have tons of features, this platform managed to avoid the complex dashboards we see in some competitors. Zoho does offer customer support, but at a price. If you use Zoho's free version, you'll have to upgrade. Once you do, they have a 24-7 help desk. You can contact Zoho via online forms, email, or give them a phone call. You'll also get access to their articles database where you'll most likely find the answers to your question. Just like Zoho, HubSpot's support is not free, but it is worth getting. Their customer support is available via phone or email. They also have a chatbot for basic inquiries. If you're a startup on a tight budget, you might want to consider HubSpot. It's easy to use, free of charge, and full of helpful features. For medium-sized businesses, HubSpot's Marketing Hub is an excellent option if you're ready to invest in the long term. You'll get all the free CRM features plus more powerful tools for in-depth performance analysis. If you are using HubSpot's Marketing Hub already or you're planning to, you should try out a free trial of Wordable. You can export your documents directly from Google Docs to HubSpot. All you do is connect your HubSpot blog, import docs from Google, or upload HTML files, and then you can add transformations in seconds like opening all links in a new tab or adding all text to images, things that would have eaten up your time before. Wordable takes content publishing down from one hour to one minute and your first three exports are free. You can get a free trial through the link in the description. All right, back to the comparison. As for enterprise level businesses with lots of sales, you'll need the territory management feature that's only available with Zoho. This single feature is enough to declare more suitable for big companies than HubSpot is. All in all, both Zoho and HubSpot are robust, full-scale customer relationship management platforms that are worth giving a shot. While HubSpot is perfect for small and mid-sized companies, Zoho is a clear winner when it comes to large-scale businesses. And that's it for this video. You can get links to check out Zoho and HubSpot in the description below, as well as a link to get your first three exports free with Wordable. Thanks for watching. I'm Jenna from Wordable, and I'll see you in the next video.